Yes, we're going to talk about Brazil. So Brazilian elections held a uh, different outcome than in Israel. Uh, in, in Brazil, like pretty much the entire, um, the entire, um, pretty much like the entire Latin America, all of South America uh, is dominated by the left. So uh, it, it's pretty amazing that over the last two years, every single country in South America has flipped from a relatively liberal right-wing government to a dominantly left-wing government, every single one of them. Uh, even a country like Colombia that never, has never elected a left-wing president, elected one. Chile, who was poor and, and kind of went free markets and became rich uh, because of the free markets, because of the capitalism, elected a leftist president and is reversing much of the free market policies that were in place. In other words, the left is just, you know, if you go to, if you go to, so you can go right across, right across South America, you can start with, you know, Colombia, Ecuador, uh, Peru, uh, of course, Bolivia. Maybe Ecuador is the exception. Is Ecuador the exception? I think Ecuador is the only Latin America country today that's not governed by a crazy left-wing government. Uh, Chile, uh, Paraguay, Uruguay, Argentina, of course, they're all dominated now by the left. And of course, Brazil is the last one to fall. Um, now, I don't think Brazilians are quite as leftist as other Latin American countries. I think Brazil has the misfortune of having a Bolsonaro or a Trump-like person uh, running on the right. Uh, I, I think Lula could have been defeated by somebody better than Bolsonaro. I'm not sure because Bolsonaro and a Trump have a certain charisma and appeal to certain people. But, uh, you know, a lot of people voted for Lula just to avoid another term of Bolsonaro's, just like a lot of people voted for Biden, just to avoid another term by Trump. So, um, but it, it, it seems unquestionable that Latin America has taken a massive turn to the left uh, over the last uh, just couple of years, two, three years, and that it's about time people start learning from that, that uh, it's going to take a lot more than economic arguments, it's going to take a lot more than populist politics to change the dynamics of these countries. Uh, what it's going to take is a real political, philosophical, uh, intellectual revolution. Defeating the left will only happen when we defeat collectivism and altruism the left keeps coming back. I mean, I thought the left was dead forever in Chile. It's dominant today. I thought the left would never win in Colombia. It just won big time. So the only way to defeat the left is to actually crush it, completely crush it. Um, and, and to crush it, you have to crush it intellectually. You have to crush it philosophically. And... Um, Nobody's doing that, right? Nobody, nobody has the ideas. Nobody has the program to actually crush them other than objectivism. There's nobody out there that presents an actual challenge uh, to the ideas behind the left. So even, you might, even if you might get a swing to the right, ultimately, on, the, on, on at least the, the, the issues of economics, uh, the swing will happen right back to the left because they hold them all high ground. And as long as that high ground is not challenged, as long as their morality is not challenged, as long as their collective is not challenged, they will keep pushing on economic issues, the, the, on, on, on economic liberty issues. They will keep pushing the pendulum to the left. All right. Um... So uh, Bolsonaro is doing a Trump while he lost the elections. He hasn't conceded, but he's um, engaging in the transition. And he's telling the de people demonstrating against Lula's election to stop. 
So he's accepted the results, but he's not conceding. Uh, in other words, he's leaving his options open to do a Trump and to pretend like he never lost, to pretend that the election was stolen, just like Trump did, and, and to build up his credibility based on that. Uh, you know, I, I don't think it buys him anything. I don't think it will buy him anything. But, uh, I, you know, it, it, it looks like Lula will be president of Brazil. Um, we'll see how bad he will be. Uh, as, as my Brazilian friends say, it's basically ruled by gangsters. Lula and his gang are gangsters. Uh, it's not even that they committed socialists, committed leftists. They're committed to thieving and stealing and, 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 and the massive corruption that comes with it. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbrookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Brooks Show grow, please consider sharing our content, and of course, subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are ready subscribers and those of you who are ready supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.